个情况 Lee for your convenient. You can call me Lee. Today we're going to, I should say, we we together learn from、uh, Miss Bob Proctor about the self image. So I'm just try to read what I learned, and at the same time,、uh, whatever resonate with you, pay attention, start changing. Anyway, so this is why I'm talking about the self image. The self image is a mental image that you have of yourself. Because Miss Bob Proctor keeps saying you must begin to think, because you are capable to doing so much wonderful things. Anyway, he mentioned we're talking about how you spend your day. You think about we only have one life, right? It's all depending on how we see ourselves, our self image. Of course, everybody wants freedom. So this freedom, including the money freedom and time freedom, right? That's all we want. So he said, "You need to ask yourself those three essential questions: How does self-image impact my life?" Two, how is self-image formed? Three, how is self-image changed? I'm just continue reading, so you're going to find the answer here. Of course, he's talking about the、uh, things. Nineteen sixty-one, he started reading the Think and Grow Rich, right? And then. He said, "You know, I, I believe he was twenty-six years old. He said he's、uh, like a bit of sad case, but thinking about at least he changed. Thinking about that, you are the only one can change. It doesn't matter how old are you, as long as you want to change, you have a chance." Anyway, he mentioned basically, for the past fifty-nine years, he has been shift the self-image, shift self-image. This is something basically working on every single day, and he does mention, you know, our body is like a massive energy. We like a, we working, we thinking on the frequency. Yeah, you know, but if you in the dark room, you see your body like this. I know why, and then because he read the book with the mentor, he realized. He was being controlled by something inside of him. Even though he said he's literally being controlled, but then he said it should be say he let it control. So basically, paradigm. And then he mentioned about, of course, the, now we know is a, you know. Paradigm is it's living in our subconscious mind. So we are talking about the one of the doctors suggests the Doctor Fleet, it, because basically mind is a th- it's not a thing. So nobody can see the mind. That's why Doctor Fleet make this、uh, stick person. So this bigger part is our mind. So the top one is conscious mind, the second part subconscious mind, and here is our body. And also, we mentioned this conscious mind is thinking mind. That's why I remember I keep thinking you have to think, and also called educated mind. It's where the intellect is resonant. See here, he mentioned this the thinking mind, your educated mind, and then of course because you have this.、Uh, High faculty, our high high faculty lives here, right? So that's why you can think, you can choose whatever you want to think. Remember, we mentioned when the power comes in, is neither negative or positive, but you, when you think, 
you want accept or reject. But whatever you choose, if you choosing the positive ones, of course you feel good and you have a positive vibration. But then if you think about negative ideas, you don't feel good, so you won't feel good. Anyway, and I also mentioned, of course, subconscious mind is our emotional mind. It must accept everything you give to. And it has no ability to reject. And also, the subconscious mind cannot differentiate what you imag imagined and what's real. Remember, that was also we mentioned this your subconscious mind kind of like a plant. Whatever you plant there, you just get it. So you would rather to put the good stuff there, right? Here, you see here the same top, think mind, educated mind, you know, Intel, you can choose, you can accept or reject. And here for the subconscious mind, you can only accept, you cannot reject, and it's our emotional mind. But you know, here's the emotion to control your vibration, you know, right? And then he has this picture basically, you know, basically as an infant, we have subconscious mind widely open, but now because all, you know, the, the, the all days with the radios, all TV stuff, we do the same thing. We just let our subconscious mind totally wide open. So you just grab everything outside. And then he used one of those, uh, you see here, mention that in, absence of a clear defined goals we become strangely loyal to performing daily trivia until we ultimately become enslaved by it i'm, I'm sorry i tried to read this handwriting but for some reason i can't I just look and see the robot maybe hayden but anyway so thinking about that because sometimes, because we don't have a goal, so we always stuck in this day, daily trivia. And here, he continued mention. You see, the self image was only one idea. Because the paradigm is nothing but multiple ideas, but self image is one of the ideas. In your subconscious mind, they control your life. They literally control your life. And he's talking about, you know, when, you know, we become, when we, you know, baby, we be like a, become the product of our environment, you know, because whatever going on, like I said, if you, you live in the family with like five languages you can just speak five language well that's be good maybe from now on we should teaching kids like that anyways <laughs> so that's also early age it developed this self-image but then he also mentioned do you know your self-image controlling your in income at the beginning i didn't really understand that part but then i just continued reading I remember I told you guys, now I know whatever we learn, we need to keep repeating, repeating through the repetition, we can really understand. Because sometimes we read, like I told you guys, I'm like basically just gathering information, not really learn. But now I know we have to keep reading, keep reading, so we can get more and more. Now here now, you see why he said that, you know, control your income here, he said, because you know what a lot of doctors and lawyers, they are earning very poor money, but you know they are highly developed and intelligent. You know, they can just, for doctors, lawyers, you know they have to have a high degree, right? But because they have very low self-esteem, very poor image. He said, why? Because they are programmed basically from here their self-image is a poor and uh, he said we're being programmed like that 
you know, when you're young, you know, for some reason, maybe just the family tell you 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 are not smart. You just think you're not smart, even though you with your high degree, you're still thinking you're not smart enough, right? But like now we know. Besides, we can see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. As a human, we have those higher faculty, which is perception, the will, reason, imagination, memory, and intuition. So now you start using them because we can change. I see he mentioned here too. Yeah, that's that's our high faculty, right? He mentioned these higher faculties. It's develop, and you can use them to start change your image. You see here. You don't have to know how you're going to become financially independent. You only have to know it can happen. It can happen, and you can make it happen. Basically, I believe whatever you're talking about, this like you keep thinking, you kind of like a goal. You know, you you see, you make a new image in your mind. You said, "I can do that." So basically, that is a shifting your paradigm. Because he mentioned, you know, here if whatever we're thinking here, but that one doesn't produce result. Only the subconscious mind here. That's why if you don't change your paradigm, you don't change your self-made image, nothing will change. So here, of course, he mentioned talking about, you know, in school, they never talk, talk about the alter paradigm. But, you know, I believe from this, like over a couple of months of learning, I do realize a lot of people start talking about this. So now we know with the internet we can learn, and also we know. Like I said, it took me fifty two years to realize I have those high faculty, right? At least I find them. You know, maybe a lot of people they don't even know the whole life. So things now we have this, we supposed to be using them. Don't let outside controlling us. So if we force ourselves, I mean, maybe force is not good word, right? Just Basically, now you know if you want to get different results, you need to change yourself, right? So here, what what he said, uh, because you know now you know when I'm like watching, I try to get in all his major point. So anyway, so most important things now we know is a paradigm controls the result. So if we don't, if we want to change our result. We have to change in paradigm. Of course, the paradigm is a mental program that has almost exclusive controlling over our habitual behavior, and almost all our behavior is habitual. But this one, when he's talking about self-image, self-image is one of them leaving our paradigm. But, See here, he mentioned right. I told you guys, if you don't alter your self-image, nothing will change. Because now we know. Remember, we asked those three questions. Basically, they do control in our life, so you don't want that、uh, your self-image control you, right? But at the same time, when we were very young, it developed there. But we have power to change it. But anyway, now I realize my battery low, so let me just put it down so I can finish talking. <laughs> Reading, but anyway, at the same time, whatever I share with you is super value because thinking about this, Mr. Bob Proctor spent his sixty years and take him ten years to realize we're teaching us, so we better get them right. Yeah, let me just keep see what it does. I read, read here. The paradigm controls the vibration you are in. Which controls your behavior and control your result. Which controls your behavior and controls your result. Think about it. Control your result. So if you want change your result, so you have to change in here. So besides using this five 
senses start using your high faculties. Build a beautiful image. Start thinking about the, looking for the be, best part from you. See, you need to build a picture of what you want because most time you know we thinking of what we thinking about the bad thing. So now you know, you know because we become to what we thinking about. So you rather think the good thing, right? So just thinking what you want be. What you what you want your life to get in better, of course, right? So so you have to change. That's why I said start build new picture of yourself because thinking about that you are spiritual being, live in the physical body, gifted with high faculty. So now you know. So you should you you know like. There's someone joking like, uh, you know, only the human with a mind. The other stuff you can find from pig and horses. So you know we are human, so we should different with those animals, right? So use your power. Start thinking. Change your image. Build a better picture of yourself, and then tell yourself. This going to happen. You know, I also I think mentioned how you know one time I said write the goal on the card. So keep repeating, read it at least twice a day. So through the reputation, you're going to be kind of getting involved with your you know your heart. So you push. Push them into your subconscious mind. When you build the beautiful picture, and then you will change your vibration, and then you can attract beautiful thing. Anyway, I hope you guys like it. But anyway, like I said, I'm continue learn and read, and most important thing. From now, don't let your self image control you. It develop when you very very young, but now you know you have a power to change it. Rebuild the beautiful one. Then keep thinking the good ones. Then you will change your self image. That's the only way you can change your results. See here, he said, if you don't alter that self image, nothing changes. That's the same thing. Like if you don't change your paradigm, nothing will change. But you have a power. Start thinking. You can change. Talk to you guys soon.